we cannot imagine a life without metals. Everything we have in our house has a presence of metal in it. Stainless steel glasses, copper pitchers, farming and garden implements, utensils, window grills, etc. Brass, gold, silver, iron, copper are all metals we are familiar with. Metals make a presence in the life of the early man much later. The early man had nothing he could call his own till the time he learned to make various articles. From stone he progressed to wood and bones and finally to metals. Early man replaced the clay pots with metal utensils. How was he be able to do all this? The Stone Age man discovered metals purely by chance. How he came to know about them is an interesting story I would like to share with you. Copper was the first metal man discovered and used. Where did the Stone Age man find copper? Once while searching for stones to make tools, man saw some reddish-green nuggets in the river beds. Nuggets are small, round balls of metals. Man thought that the nuggets were stones. He started shaping them in the same manner as he shaped stones. He hit them against each other. To his surprise, instead of breaking, they changed shape. He then tried to change them into the shapes he wanted. The nuggets changed shape accordingly. Man discovered that these nuggets turned to copper only after he heated them at high temperature. This is how he discovered the first metal copper. He started using it to make spearheads, arrowheads, knives, pots and pans, beads and bangles. Man was fascinated by metal and its various uses. Maybe they looked better when they were shaped. Early man found two other metals that were softer than copper. He could not use them to make tools. These metals were gold and silver. They glittered and looked very attractive. Man was instantly drawn to them. He used them to make ornaments. Most of the ornaments we wear are made of either gold or silver. Have you ever accidentally touched a hot utensil or a hot iron? Then you must have burnt your hand, isn't it? Well, this is the nature of all metals. They get heated soon. Every man learned that metals become soft when put in fire and become liquid at very high temperature. He therefore started smelting metals in a furnace. Smelting is a process where solid metal is put into a furnace. Due to high temperature, the metal turns into liquid, that is, molten metal. When we pour melted wax into a mold in the shape of a teddy bear, the wax takes the shape of the mold on cooling. In the same way, man poured the hot molten metal also into molds. He made articles of different shapes. Sometimes, while smelting metals, a mixture of two metals would produce a new one. This new metal is called an alloy. Experience taught man that alloys were stronger and harder than pure metals. Once man learned about alloys, he started experimenting with different metals that he discovered. He made an alloy of copper and tin 
called bronze. He used bronze to make tools, weapons, statues and decorative articles. Bronze is also used in sports today. Since alloys are stronger, man could now make elegant and sturdier articles. The early man went on to discover new metals. Iron was discovered much later and is used the most today. After the discovery of metal, man stopped using stone tools and used only metal for all purposes. The age of metals had begun.